Dear Dinks. Be the first to say, if you're happy, I'm <clears throat> However, I'm trying to figure something out. What is your point? I mean, I do. I get that there is certain freedom that you have when you don't have children. However, it seems like something that it's not worth bragging about, though. It's kind of like the drunk guy at a party that tells everybody how much money they make. That's what those videos about dinks sound like. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't think you realize what you sound like. Disposable income is nothing new and definitely not exclusive to people that do not have children. I'm a dwick. Double income with children. Pretty much everything you say you do, well, I do too. And what is your fascination with Costco? I got a Costco card too. All you're doing is saying that, yeah, I shop like a, uh, like a married person with kids. I buy in bulk. And bragging about snacks, um, <laughs> yeah, I buy my own shit. Uh, so does my wife. Anyone can do that. That's not something exclusive. <laughs> I heard one example of this couple, and this woman is saying, we don't have to use the excuse of our dog or our kids to leave a party. We just leave when we want to. And honey, I hate to tell you, but we do the same thing, but we want to go home to our kids and dogs. Someone says, we still do it three times a week. Well, I hate to tell you, buddy, sex is not exclusive either, and that's pretty common. That number is actually very common. But here's the thing, you don't hear very many married couples bragging about their sex lives. It's kind of unbecoming. It's not very gentleman-like either. So that just makes you a douche. And in the department of travel, picking up and going whenever you want, me and my wife call those daycations. And 20 to 30 times a year, we'll just fly out. So that's not exclusive to y'all either. And a lot of people do that. That is not uncommon. A lot of married people do that. There's only a short time in your child's life when you have to be there regardless. And for those events, you want to be there. However, see, we have friends just like you. And you like to babysit people's kids. Y'all love children. You just like to give them back. Well, that's good for us because, well, we can take trips. And you'll babysit them. For free. That's even better. My whole point to this is, I'm glad you're happy with your lifestyle. I'm glad anyone is happy, genuinely happy with their lifestyle and what choices they make. That is what you should be. But to make some weird ass excuses well it's just very immature and you guys are mostly 30 and 40 years old quit being a child just live your life so dinks i will leave you with this and this last comment from a gentleman is actually responsible it seems like a good fella but as with anything just like you're proving there's a tit for tat this one gentleman in there says, we max out our Roth IRAs and our 401ks and still go out to eat every night, to which I tell you, I own two companies and I have employees just like you. And I want to say thank you for being <laughs> at work every day, on time, being diligent, doing your job uh, and supporting the economy by going out to eat. Um, good on you. So anyway. Glad you, uh, you you enjoy your life, but uh, let's quit all the bragging. You sound like children.